I have mentioned before how horrible I think dating apps are. I'm not entirely sure why they're actually necessary either. Just because we have the technology to do it doesn't necessarily mean we should. It's not like people don't have a chance to meet new people anymore. In fact, we're more social than ever. I think these dating apps just end up in horrible dates and greater expectations with participants looking at other people in a very shallow way. I'm sure it has worked for some and I'm glad in those instances that it has worked out for them, but there is a reason why there's a culture of joking about bad Tinder dates. And so I saw an article in the New York Post about how dating apps are also being blamed for the rise in STDs, which it seems is another reason why these apps are a nuisance. Not only is it encouraging us to be less social and outgoing in real life, but it's making it easier for people to fall for primal indulgences that for so long we've better controlled. The New York Post writes, One Health Board has seen five times as many cases in the past four months compared to the same period in 2017. Since April, there has been 56 in its area with 16 in the past two weeks alone. Most have been men, but several women also tested positive. Doctors suspect it's down to more people using dating apps such as Tinder and Bumble to meet for unprotected sex. Users often delete partners' profiles afterwards, preventing them from warning if they are later diagnosed with an infection. Well, I mean, what did we think would happen? Dating apps are used by so many people for one reason only. You know what that is. They can be used, dates can happen, and then blocked after one night of fun. It's not good for the soul, and evidently it's not good for your health either. In fact, it turns out they're not good for your mental health either. A study in the American Psychological Association has found that Tinder users are much less satisfied with their faces and bodies than people who don't use the platform, meaning they're more self-conscious about how they appear on the platform. This is an app that focuses entirely on image with people trying desperately to look their best and compete against people who they feel are better looking than them. So, I mean, I don't mean to sound like I'm a prude here, but isn't it time we started doing something a little more fulfilling with our love lives, getting away from the vanity and the shallowness? Our grandparents courted one another. Men would try and try and try to get a date with the woman of their dreams, showing up with flowers or wooing them with their funny lines, and women would know to hold back a little bit as well. Such is the difference in nature between men and women. It's yin and yang. So come on guys, get off those apps. The best way to find the person for you is to meet someone naturally in a place of mutual interest through mutual friends and courting just like the good old days. There's a reason we did it like that for so long. So get out there, talk to people, meet people, court people, and you won't get nasty diseases or rot your brain. If you wanna see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.